Hello, warm greetings. Today's video tutorial is about HMI Volcano EC controller, which is dedicated for all kinds of devices from Volcano family with EC motors. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up the controller. The controller is characterized by stop less fan speed regulation, the possibility of programming four heating periods for each day of the week, the possibility of connecting valve with actuator, cooperation with the building management system BMS, the possibility of connecting up to eight Volcano EC units to one controller. If you own a previous version of the controller, I invite you to find the tutorial video on our YouTube channel. The controller is launched by pressing the on and off button. The HMI Volcano EC controller has a stepless fan speed control. After pressing the fan button we can set the speed value. Using the up and down buttons we increase and decrease the speed value. Pressing the fan button again allows us to set the automatic mode. Holding the fan button and the up button will allow us to select the operating mode. The set button changes between heating, cooling ventilation, heating plus ventilation and the cooling plus ventilation mode. The selection of the function depends on the advanced settings you have chosen. I will show you about the advanced settings later in this video. The up and down buttons allows us to set the target temperature. Use the up and down buttons to increase the temperature by half a degree. Use the down button to decrease the temperature by half a degree. To set the time and the day of the week, hold the set button and the down button. Use the up and down buttons to change the minute setting. Use the set button to switch to the hour setting which can also be changed using the up and down buttons. By pressing the set button again, the day of the week can be changed by then pressing the up and down button. The controller allows us to set the heating periods according to the calendar. We can set four heating periods for each day of the week. For the controller to work on the basis of a set calendar, the calendar function must be activated. I will explain how to do this later in this video. This function has already been activated in my controller. Hold the set button to move onto the setting of the programmable work calendar. After entering calendar programming mode by pressing the up down button, select the day of the week. By pressing the set button, move to the first heating period setting. Select whether the period is to be active or not. And then move on the initial time of the first heating period. Then the end time of a given period. The last stage is the task of a temperature assigned to a given heating period. The remaining three heating periods are set analogically. We also do the same for the added days of the week. The controller can be locked or unlocked by holding the button down. In order to be able to block the controller, the block function must be activated. I will explain how to do this later in this video. In order to configure the controller more precisely, I invite you to watch the second part of the video presenting advanced settings. In this part of the video, you will learn how to configure the advanced settings of HMI Volcano EC controller dedicated to Volcano units with EC motors. Holding the fan button and the down button longer will allow us to go to the first part of advanced settings. It is important to remember that when you hold down these buttons, the controller has to be off. The markings correspond to the functions specified in the controller manual. Change the values of the individual functions by pressing the up and down button and press the set button to switch to the next function. 
The IP function is to change the address assigned to a building management system BMS. Function A0 Activation and deactivation of anti-frost function. Function A1 Selection of the temperature sensor. Value 0 means operation based on a built-in thermostat. Value 1 means operation based on an external temperature sensor. Function A2 Temperature sensor calibration. If the actual room temperature differs from the one indicated by the controller, we can correct the sensor by plus and minus 8 Celsius degrees. Function A3. Heating mode selection. Value 0 means cooling mode. Value 1 means heating mode. Value 2 means automatic mode. And value 3 means ventilation mode. Function A4. Controller hysteresis setting. This is the difference between the set point temperature and the room temperature, followed by switching on the device. Function A5 allows us to increase the value of the output signal. For example, when in automatic mode the set point temperature is not reached, we have a possibility to increase the value of the output signal. In practice, this forces a higher fan speed in automatic mode. Function A6, dynamic adjustment of output signal value. Here we can change output signal by 1, 2 or 3 volts. Function A7, buttons lock. Value 0 makes it impossible to block the controller. Value 1 means the possibility to block the controller. Function A8, allows to set the temperature assigned to anti-frost function. Function A9. This is the backlight time of the controller display. We have the possibility to select values from 5 to 600 seconds. Function AA. Allows you to enable or disable the work calendar. Value 0 deactivates the work calendar and switches to manual mode. And value 1 activates work according to the work calendar. Function AB. Change between 12 and 24 hour clock format. Value 0 means 12 hour format and value 1 means 24 hour format. Function AC. This is to restore the default settings. The settings are restored by holding down the fun button. Holding the set button and the up button longer will allow us to go to the second part of advanced settings. It is important to remember that when you hold down these buttons, the controller has to be off. The markings correspond to the functions specified in the controller manual. Change the values of the individual functions by pressing the up and down button and press the set button to switch to the next function. Function C0. Selection of units. We can choose between Celsius degrees and Fahrenheit degrees. Function C1. Set minimum temperature. We can set a value from 5 to 15 Celsius degrees. Function C2. Set maximum temperature. We can set a value from 15 to 40 Celsius degrees. Function C3. Speed setting for the controller to work with the BMS system. Function C4. It is even parity and odd parity setting for cooperation of the controller with the BMS system. Thank you for watching our video tutorial dedicated to the new HMI controller. I also invite you to check our YouTube channel for other useful materials.